Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create and we're working on page four of Desire. Sorry, I thought I had already moved that. Page four of Desire. So we are going to install some flaps on the bottom. So you're gonna need two of these. And I misplaced one. Here it is. Oops, let's get this out of the way. And these um, are five and three quarters by seven and seven eighths. And so it's a little bit under eight. And um, that's just because I'm lining it up with um, this piece over here. So if you make it eight inches, um, it'll be just a little bit into this and that's fine too. So I made it, I laid it down and just put a pencil mark exactly where that line is. So this butts straight up against it if you wanna make it exactly the same. So again, five and three quarters by seven and seven eighths. Uh, here we go. We're gonna put this flush to the bottom of the pocket page, maybe. <laughs> it's been raining and cold here all day, so my fingers aren't working quite right. I don't have a uh, full sensitivity in them. There we go. Okay, so the second one, we're going to lay right on top like that, like so, and then it's gonna get laid down just like that. So it's going to be a flap that opens up and this one opens down. Okay, so the key when you're doing this is just to make sure it's centered left to right and then just gently close the flap and the adhesive will find its location like so. That looks good. Okay, so this opens up and this opens down. Okay, now on the top you're gonna have two flaps. They're going to be a left and a right versus top bottom. And these are four and a quarter inches tall by eight inches across. You're gonna score a half inch. And let me see, I want one of these. Yep, that's right. And they're gonna be flush. This one's going to be flush to the corner and then this is gonna get butted, uh, butted uh, to this uh, decorative strip here. Gonna, you should have what is, I think, roughly a half inch um, space between the top flaps and the lower flaps. Okay, we're gonna open that up. This is the strip from, I just trimmed it. What did I trim off? Uh, I believe this is from the 12 by 12 pattern pack. And I just, it could be any one of them. I chose the black, white, and, and tan um, as the piece that I'm gonna put right here so that when you close it, you're gonna see just this little strip. So I'm just testing it both ways. See what I like better. I don't really care for that. So I might even prefer dots, uh, the continuation of these dots. So let's take a look at that. Yes, I like that. So that's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use this strip, which is 5 eighths inch, so it's just a little over a half inch, and it's gonna go the width of the page. I think I need to trim it just a tiny bit. Kinda looking for my pencil. Which I don't see. Here, this was underneath that piece that I just laid down, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ink that. Okay, and I think that's gonna make for a nice look. And then I'm um, gonna add some, I'm not gonna glue that down yet because I need to ink it. I'm gonna add some magnets up here and down here. So two up here and two down here. Thank you. 
get my nice wide tape. This is page four, which means this is the spine side, just as a reminder. And then we're going to put, whoops, that's not the thick one. Here it is. centered. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back um, and I'll have my uh, papers inked and organized so that we can get this decorated. Be back in just a minute. Oops. Okay. I've got my papers mostly lined up. I do have to do a little bit of trimming here as I'm going to uh, do a trim to fit here because I'm going to do a little bit of color blocking. So let me set these together, close that, and we'll get started by putting this band in. So it's going to go right here, it's already inked. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having decent weather. I know it's been kind of a crazy couple of weeks everywhere. Um, we've had what for no most people would be not too much rain, but for us was quite a bit of rain. So we're having some challenges with that. Our infrastructure doesn't hold up very well. When we get a, an onslaught like that, our uh, drainage systems get overgrown um, with vegetation and then we have a big storm and then it can't pass because of the vegetation. <laughs> so there's been some challenges with that. lined up for the inside. I guess I didn't ink. Let me double check dry fit. Real quick. Oh, that's why. I didn't ink because I hadn't dry fit. I can still need to trim that a little bit. That's usually my in indication that I need to double check the fit. If I pick it up and it's inked, that usually means I'm good to go. A little bit more. Ought to do it. Yes, we're good.
trying to decide if I want to do this up or down. I think I'm going to put it in this way. from the 12 by 12. This is also from the 12 by 12. And this is also from the 12 by 12. Oh, the rain just started to come down again. I'm on the south side of the house, so, um, it blows right onto my window. I like it. I think it makes a nice sound. It's probably not loud enough for you guys to hear. And windy. Wow, it's been windy here in San Diego. Hey, I just want to remind you guys that my finished albums are now for sale in the shop. So if you um, are interested in anything um, that I've made, check it out. I think there's a, a little filter that you can just look for the finished albums. And um, it's usually within a week or so of the latest album, we'll get it listed. I like to hang on to it. Oh, that's not what goes here, this goes here. Um, for a couple days, just in case I need to verify anything. Um, well, this one's already inked because it was already dry fit. Okay, good deal. Um, so within a couple of days of this release, a week maybe, it'll be for sale in the shop as well. So I know most of you are here because you like to make albums, but sometimes, um, you have something driving it and you have a little bit of a deadline. You don't have time to put one together for yourself. They will be available. So... So that's good, that's something new. Um, in the last uh, couple months, we just started selling those. Okay, and then this goes here. Now, I've got these, which are from the 12 by 12. How did this go? This way. They're gonna go left and right. Is that right? No, it's not. They're gonna go left and right like this. This is a separate piece, sorry. That was for something else. And then we're going to use this piece right here. So this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, this was one 12 inch span and then this, I can't remember how it came off of here, but it's part of that 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm going to use these two on the edges, this in the middle, and then we're gonna use the decorative strip on the, on the very outside. So this is the piece I think I need to trim down, but maybe not. Let's see. Nope, that's that's what it's it's right, I think. Yep. So it's gonna slightly over go over this 
as you can you may or may not be able to see but I'm going to try to point to it the edge of this decorative strip is inside the flap um, by probably about an eighth of an inch and that's why we're going to have a little bit of an overlap with this piece it's going to overlap that strip so I'm going to go ahead and ink it and lay this in And this is from the backgrounds, 12 by 12 backgrounds. Yeah, you just want to make sure that it's not um, visible when you close your flaps. told you guys it was raining here my husband just popped in and he's covered in hail <laughs> so apparently what I thought was rain hitting the window is hail and it is cold um, it's supposed to get down to 37 which for San Diego standards is very cold 37 we don't get we don't get that cold at least not where I'm at in San Diego a little further east they do but um, we're we're only 10 miles from the ocean so to see Hail is, is pretty unusual for us. Okay, that's it. All right, I need a second to, well, no, I don't. I have it. This is what we're going to use uh, for the two edges. And then, of course, these are just trimmed to fit, right? So I'm going to mark them, trim them, get these two in. And then we'll do a quick walkthrough of uh, the finished page. Ooh, I kind of like that, too, because it kind of pulls this back in. Well, I'll trim it and then we can look at it either way. Okay. So that's look one. That's it. That's what we're doing. I'm glad I turned it over. <laughs> I think it looks much prettier. And it pulls this right in. One side, one more side. So I came up with this size right here is because it was a 12 inch and I split it in half. So these two together made 12 inches. Split them in half, I got six inch, six inch. And then this is the difference. And I like it. Do I care which way it goes? Not really. I think I like it more on the top like this. on the wrong side. Okay. 
And then lastly, we're going to cover this. So we're going to continue using the same paper. Get it in, yeah. And then we'll do a quick walk through. Today is the not get out of your pajamas day. <laughs> I did, but I could have easily sat around in my pajamas all day. One more piece. I thought I'd already had that planned out, but I don't know what I'm going to use now. Maybe. this installed and we'll be done. say so myself or if I do say so myself all right I got a lot of really good feedback from you guys on the last album um, which was also a very large was um, I think eight and a half by ten and a half or eight and a half by eleven I'm sorry something like that so I decided to do another large format since I gotta get this extra the glue from um, the paper pad. I was so happy when Graphic 45 stopped binding theirs so that you don't have to fight the edges or sh shave off a bit of it. I preferred it. Now if we could just get Stamperia to do it. <laughs> Everything goes into a sleeve when I organize anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's bound. All right, I still can see a little bit of that on there. I'll come back through and pick that off with an X-Acto knife. So anyways, oh, I mentioned before, um, I think it was in the last video, I'm not sure, um, that we're coming on 25,000 subscribers. And when we hit 25,000 subscribers, we are going to pick one customer at random. You have to be in the continental United States or its territories. United States or its US territories. And we are going to um, give a $100 gift certificate to the shop so that you can buy some goodies for yourself. So the faster we get to 25,000, the sooner we'll have that, that giveaway. This is Daphne from Scrap and Crate. We're on page four. Let's do a quick flip through. Lots of room for photos. And then this is up. And down. There we go. All right, we're all set. So I'll be back soon with page five. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and we're working on page six. Page six. So page six is going to have two cards installed on it, and these cards are 
uh, nine, nine and a quarter by six and five eighths. So nine and a, nine and a quarter by six and five eighths. Okay, you're gonna score those in half and they're gonna get installed like so. So you're gonna open one, then open the other. So I already put the magnet in here, and as you can see, I've decorated the top and one of the panels on the inside. And this, this is just to let me know that I've already got a magnet installed here. So this is the panel that's gonna go in first. Oh, actually, we need to lay this down. This is from the 12 by 12 um, collection pack. You can tell by the print on the other side. So a nice big mat to go right here. Okay, we're gonna lay this one down first gonna go like so. Yeah. Okay, and then this is gonna go here. leave this without glue so that um, when you put your photo in you have the choice of laying it on top of both or tucking it behind so I'm gonna glue these this edge I should have figured that out before I started I just like to have the option like that so we need to put a magnet on ideally it would have been on this side but I'm going to put it on the flip side and I'm just going to use some removable tape to get it figured out like I said I should have done it before I moved up moved along the right way okay so it should go right about here but I'm going to test it it's too high and this will just allow me to to maneuver it until I find it find the right spot This is the other way to do it is I lost my spot again. Okay, I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of double-sided tape right. Nope, that's not right. It needs to go on the bottom. Oh, I'm having a hard time.
little wire. That's it. Okay. Twelve by twelve. This is background. This is background as well. They think. I think it is. It's so easy to get these mixed up because they they look like they could go either way. Very simple page. Should have put the magnet in before I matted it, but c'est la vie. It would have been just that much easier. Okay. Now, again, I left this open so you can place your photo like that or like this. You have the choice. And I'm sure depend on what's here. So these finished mats are um, four and a half by six and a half. So nice size uh, pictures. So you can get um, a nice border around both of those. And that is page five. I think I said six earlier. It's page five and it goes right next to page four. So you can see kind of how the patterns come in. So this one's a little bit busy and I try to keep this a little bit more sedate. I'm gonna add some um, bits and bobs and stuff, but you'll have to see that in the walkthrough. I'm gonna go back and distribute those um, once I have the rest of the book designed. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. We appreciate you spending time with us here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.